In this video, we're going to go over how to give your customers more control of their subscriptions with WooCommerce subscriptions so they can edit the quantities of their subscription, change the frequency, skip next payment, add items to a subscription and more. So whether you are just starting out with WooCommerce subscriptions or a seasoned WooCommerce store with hundreds or maybe thousands of orders, I think you'll get a lot of value out of this tutorial. And with that, let's get into it. But if this is your first time here, give me that like, give me that thumbs up. It really helps YouTube's algorithm. If you get value out of this video and leave a comment, I guess if I heard that helps too. So, okay, let's jump into it. I'm gonna go to my Charlie's Coffee Shop and this is just an example order. I just did an example order. And as you can see, the default actions are cancel, change address and change payment. So we wanna be able to allow to, you know, change the frequency of the subscription, skip a payment, change the next shipment date, etc. So I'm gonna to go to my WordPress dashboard and I'm gonna upload the plugin. Again, those links can be found in the description box below. So I'm gonna to go to plugins, add new, and I'm gonna upload this plugin. Activate plugin. Cool, so I just activated the toolbox for WooCommerce subscriptions plugin and I'm gonna go back to that my account page before I dive into the settings. As I can see here, if I just refresh the page, I'm gonna refresh the page right now and look at these actions, I can see all these actions that have been added for my customer to do, right? So they can change their, um, or sorry, skip the next payment, you know, ship their subscription now. They can also ship it now and reschedule from today. They can edit the details, they can change their next shipment date. Okay, so now let's dive into these settings. And I'm gonna go to WooCommerce settings. And with that, go to the toolbox for WooCommerce subscriptions tab. And this is where all these settings are controlled. So maybe I do not want, you know, ship now and reschedule payment. I don't want that option. Or I don't want, you know, add products to existing subscriptions. I could uncheck this and I could save the changes. And now if I come back to my my account page here, I can see that this will these actions will be updated. Kind of cool, right? I'm just going to go through a test order and then I'm going to show you how this all works in terms of like going through a test order and then changing some of the stuff around and seeing you guys can see how it all works. So I'm just going to go back to my um, these settings and I'm going to turn on add products to existing subscriptions. And as a side note, um, if I'm just going to save these changes as a side note, you know, this can be updated to, you know, skip a payment, you know, for example. And now if I come back here, you know, it's skip a payment. So that that could be helpful. So I'm going to come back to this my shop and I am going to get, you know, medium roast every, you know, two months. Every two months. And I'm gonna proceed to checkout and submit my payment. Awesome. So now if I come back to my account, I have medium roast in my subscription, something I've subscribed to, and I can view the subscription or I also can bulk update these subscriptions if I want to and i'm just going to view this subscription and i'm going to change this next payment date so right now the next payment date is january 4th one month from now as my first order was you know just a couple seconds ago on uh november 4th and i got every two months right so you can see right here so I'm just gonna change this and maybe I, I get this shipped in you know a couple days or a week and I'm drinking a lot of it and I love it. So I can maybe you know update the next payment date to you know let's try you know next December 4th. So I could do that and then the subscription will change. So I'm just gonna update the next shipment date and it says it's been updated and it gives me this you know next payment date and the date that it is. And I am just being a test customer right now on this screen. But if I go back to my WooCommerce dashboard and I click into subscription 117, you know, I can see right here in the subscription notes that 
the customer chose to change the next shipment date. Overall, if you got value out of this video, let me know in the comments box below. And yeah, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. If you have seen this, all products that I'm using on these, um, these products on this Charlie's Coffee store, and you want the subscribe and save 10% button, I'll link that video here, here. Um, that is using the all products for WooCommerce subscriptions plugin. If you want to add even more functionality to your WooCommerce subscription store, let me know what tutorial you guys want to see next. And with that, I'm signing off. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.